everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all how I got this look. This is like my bronzy summer makeup look for this summer. And I'm going to be using pretty much a bunch of favorites that I've discovered this year. These are all essentially like staple products that I absolutely love. My makeup feels nice and locked in, but it still has enough movement. You know, the skin doesn't look too flat. The eyes, I can't, I can't even get over the eyes. I will leave everything that I use down below for you guys. I hope you enjoy it and let's jump in. Okay, so first, you know, we gotta put some sunscreen on. Um, this is just my sunscreen of choice. Actually, I think I need to pick up another one. It's the Isentree Watery Sun Gel SPF 50. And I'm just applying this all over the face. Great because it absorbs really quickly. Um, it looks super good under makeup, no white cast, and it never burns my eyes. So it pretty much checks every box that I'm looking for with a sunscreen. It's not uber thick on the skin, which in the summer, you know, I like to go in with thinner layers, a super creamy thick sunscreen. I kind of reserve those sunscreens for the winter. Next for primer, I'm going to be using the Say Sun Glow, the glowy super gel. And this is a bronzing, primer and I like to do this because you can see that I'm self tanned and this helps my face match my body without having to add a lot of pigment product. It has this really pretty kind of translucence to it that you can see. Now for foundation, I'm going to be using a favorite of mine, of course, which is the Kosas Revealer Foundation. This is the shade 110 and you can see that it is not not a good shade for my self-tanned body. However, I do have the shade 220, medium neutral, and this will definitely help us get a better shade. So I'm just gonna mix in a little bit of this shade. I'm just gonna put a little bit out onto, I think that's good. Um, and I like to keep the face a little bit lighter than the body because I'll go in with bronzer and that will definitely help everything kind of even out. I don't like for the face to be too dark. All right, so I just kind of like to spread it onto the face a bit with my fingers first. I'm gonna use the Beauty Pie Seamless Foundation Buffing Brush because this one has really been treating me right. Using these downward strokes to get a good blend for us. This foundation, you guys, I remember when uh, Kosas said that they were coming out with their revealer foundation. Cannot get enough of the revealer concealer. And when they were like, yeah, we're gonna do a revealer foundation, I'm like, now let me tell you something. You guys can't mess this up. I have a lot banking on this foundation. Well, they didn't do me dirty. Uh, I just, ugh, I, I love the look of this foundation every time I wear it. I always like to make sure and take care to get the jaw the jaw area. Um, I just find that that is an area that I really want to make sure everything is blended on. And once everything is all blended, I'm going to go into the Revealer Concealer. And I think, as far as shade goes, um, I'm gonna use the shade 2.5C. I really like this shade when I am self-tanned. It still has a little bit of pink to it, which I like, um, but I'm also getting brightness, you know, and I will highlight a touch with it. By the way, you guys, um, I used the Bali Body um, self-tanner, and if you do have a similar uh, skin tone to mine, I really, really enjoy it. This was after one use and it'll last me at least five days. I really like it. It lasts really well and it doesn't look uh, streaky and I find that it looks quite natural. It has a bit of an olive thing going on which for me personally because I find that my skin is a little bit more neutral I like the kind of olive tone that it has. So when I'm leaving this concealer on I am going to go into the brows and I'll be right back because I know that this part isn't quite interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna wait to set my brows but I am going to go ahead and blend out the concealer. I don't know if you guys can see, I have like a broken blood vessel under my eye. 
which I don't know how that happened. I told my mom and she's like, oh, you don't remember that's happened before? And I was like, no. For bronzer, of course, I'm going to be using a favorite that I've just been in love with, like really, really in love with. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. This is one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury launches ever. It is definitely something that I would recommend picking up if you're in the market uh, because it is perfection. Like I can't, I, I don't know if I would recommend a single thing to change about it. I, I don't think I would. It's so good. Um, I also love how big the mirror is. I use this to do my makeup like all the time. The tone of this it's so perfect for me. You know, it's not too warm, but it's not overly yellow either. And definitely not too red. It's like so perfect. Um, it reminds me a lot of a light medium from the Makeup by Mario line. If you guys are familiar with that shade, it's like that except a touch warmer and a touch lighter. So for me, that's like, again, it's perfect. So I am taking care here to kind of go between the hairs up here um, just to make sure that everything looks blended. That is an area where you can kind of show off some pale scalp. <laughs> so I am trying to do that. I'll get the ears as well. And then I'll just take some of the excess into the crease a little bit. Now for blush, I am bringing back an Amanda Z channel favorite, and I haven't used it in a while. I had to pick up a new one because the other one I had um, expired. <laughs> this is Honest Beauty Coral Peach, their cream blush. You guys, whew, this is good. This is so, so good. One of the best cream blushes that I have ever used. I love that they moved to aluminum packaging as well. This is nice and weighty. I do have some face setting that I need to do before this. This is actually going to be one of the last steps that we do. So hold that thought. Uh, we will talk about that in a second. But I want to use a little bit of my Givenchy Prism Libre powder. This is the shade 3 Rose. Um, and I'm just going to use kind of the excess that's on the back of the powder puff. I don't like to use a lot of this. But in the summer, I do like to use a little bit under the eyes, just a touch down the nose and on the forehead. This is really like nice and brightening. It's so smoothing as well. You know what? It is expensive, but it is one of the best powders that I've ever used for dry skin, especially. So I kind of kept the powder away from like this area over here, but I powdered pretty much everywhere else. And again, just like a very sheer amount, not a lot. You don't need a lot to set the skin. And I am noticing this blood vessel popping out a little bit. Um, so I will probably go back and conceal that a little bit, uh, just not quite yet. Actually, you know what? I might as well do it right now. Just gonna use a little bit right there. And with the Kosas concealer, you do not have to worry about putting this over powder. It will it'll look fine. I'm going to actually set my bronzer with a powder bronzer. Um, that's something that I like to do during the summer if I really want my makeup to be locked in. Um, and this one is from L'Oreal. It's so good. Um, it is the shade Fair as well. Um, it's the soft matte bronzer, the infallible fresh wear. I love how finely milled it is and it really sweeps over the skin so softly, it's buildable, it's not choppy. Um, I am not a huge fan of a powder bronzer, typically. Um, I've tried a lot, I've tried a lot of high end. And I haven't found a lot that I like, but this one performs so beautifully. So I am, again, just using this very lightly to set where I've already put my bronzer. Take it onto the ear as well. Always like to get this little spot down here on the jawbone. And now we can go back into blush. Now you'll notice that I put a bunch of powder on and now I'm going in with a cream product. With this blush, you do not have to worry about it because it will blend seamlessly over creams, powders. I haven't really used a formula that does not blend beautifully with this. And I really feel like makeup, like those staples for me are the products that are so easy to work with. 
and not fussy. You know, a fussy product is kind of a deal breaker for me. So I'm just taking some onto the Seamless Foundation Buffing Brush from Beauty Pie and just tapping that in. It's just like the perfect summer flush color. It's just enough of that like corally pop with this pretty peachiness. And again, the blend, it just blends itself out and it lasts really, really well. Now for the eyes, I'm going to be using a couple of eyeshadows. These are both, again, two favorites of mine. The first one I'm going to be using is the Dior Beige Mitza eyeshadow um, that you guys know I rave about all the time on my channel. And I'm just going to kind of use this as a base. Um, this is kind of like a one and done look just with an extra step but you'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm just taking the applicator or the little sponge brush and I'm just adding a layer right onto the lid. And you guys, it's so beautiful and multidimensional. Um, I just love the shine that it emits. It has this gorgeous like taupey shift to it like the perfect bronzy beachy kind of shadow like I just can't can't get enough and once I have that layered down I'll just take a fluffy brush and just blend out these edges okay so now we have like the base shadow done literally we could just stop here you know what I mean like it's going to look pretty and smoky and nice for like a summery look like I would I would feel completely fine with this but what I want to do now is add a little bit of a wetness to this look so I'm going to use my Stila Glisten and Glow shadow in the shade Stream this is a very similar color to the color that we already have it's a little bit more of like a cool toned taupey shade um, but it's a bit translucent and it has like the most gorgeous wet glitters to it. So let me show you what happens when I apply this. You see that? It just adds this whole other wet sparkle layer and I just love this combo. You can also use the shade Oasis. I also have Oasis and really I love that shade too. Again, I'm just taking my finger straight from the applicator and pressing it into the lid. That Tilbury mirror to the rescue. I This quality of the mirror is like so good. Now I'm just going to, again, make sure all those edges are blended, but I'm not going to really take the brush too much on where I've concentrated the glitter because I still want that intense glittery shine. I don't want to like wash it away. So again, just going around on these edges. Now I'm going to use a little bit of liner. This is the shade Copper Hazy from Beauty Pie. And this has a little bit more warmth um, than the shades that we have on, but I kind of want to add just a touch of a warmth to the waterline just to kind of balance everything out. And also it'll help my green eyes pop a bit, which I like. That's kind of a trick I like to do if I want um, to add a color to bring out the green in my eyes. I'll typically go with something with just a touch of an orange. Those shades usually will bring out the color in my eyes. Without it looking like there's like a coppery shade on, it's very tricky in a good way. Eyelash curler. Hello? I wanted to apply this before we even started the freaking video. I meant to apply this at the beginning of the video. This is the Kosas Plump and Juicy Lip Collagen Booster. I just bought it today. And I, it's kind of bizarre. So I recently talked about how I love the Lawless lip mask, like the plumping lip mask, because it works so perfectly as a prep product it like really hydrates the lips while also offering like a plump like those two things perfect as a lip as a lip prep product you know what I mean and it turns out that Kosas agrees because they came out with a very similar product it feels awesome on the lips and my lips definitely need this right now by the way the plump isn't really intense at least I'm not noticing like a really intense tingle 
but we'll see in a second before we go into lip products. Let's go ahead and curl the lashes. Oh my gosh, I wish that you guys could see this combo in person on the lids. It is like, oh my God, I, I just can't, I can't get enough of it. Now using Copper Hazy to tight line. And I will just take a little bit onto the lid at the edges, just a little bit. And then I have this little sponge applicator and I'm just gonna kind of like flick it out a little bit. It's not gonna look like a, like a wing, you know what I mean? But it is just gonna add a little bit of that kind of elongated look on the outer corners. It's gonna be subtle, but you kind of notice it overall. You know what I mean? It's like the tight lining step. It all comes together that you start to notice it. When subtleties are all added together, overall it gives you a really cool look. It's not just one thing on its own. And for mascara, the Beauty Pie uh, Uber Volume has been my mascara of choice. It's just, you know, the fluffy, the fluffy mascara look, which I am a huge fan of. All right, mascara is on. I'm going to now finally set my eyebrows and this is the Major Dimension Lamination Gel from Patrick Ta. I hope that they have restocked this because it is so good and I think that more people should be able to try it. It just really picks up every single hair. Look, so fluffy. And now let's go ahead into the lips. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of the excess foundation I have here. I'm going over the lips a little bit just so we get a nice line. I have made the easy decision. Go back to a favorite of the year, which is the Love Triangle Lip Filler Liner from e.l.f. Um, and this is the shade Light Brown. It is the perfect color for a bronzy look if you're going for more of a bronzy nude. I love the shape of these. They're so freaking easy to work with. Seriously, so easy to apply. And I'm also going to use another e.l.f. lip product. This is Pinkies Up in the Glossy Lip Stain formula. Actually, no, I'm gonna use the shade Basic Beige because I think it's really going to pull together the cheek and the lips. This isn't like a beige though. Like, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So, so good. And I'm also going to set with my favorite setting mist that I have found this year to really extend the wear of my makeup, which is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite. It has a fine mist. It actually extends the longevity of your makeup without being too matte and chalky on the skin. Okay, I'm going to freshen up the hair and I will be right back. All right guys, and this is my bronzy summer makeup look for 2022 using a ton of favorites that I really love. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. I'll leave everything that I used uh, down below for you guys. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next one.